Okay, Blinka, what's new this week? All right. So two things this week. Um, what I usually do, I'm going to quickly show. The newsletter is a monster um, in a good way. So we have our CircuitPython 7 Alpha 6 release. Do check it out. You can look at all the uh, editions since 7.0. Sign up, check that out. Already talked about the Halloween Hackfest. Um, Tom's Hardware reviewed the macro pad and gave it outstanding. It's a Tom, it's editor's choice. Oh. Um, and so it's the ultimate DIY keypad. Uh, we're seeing a lot of people do cool stuff with Thanks, it. Thanks, Tom. Last week we did, um, yeah, I wonder, I guess we is, there, is that Tom the editor? Tom's Hardware. It's his hardware. I should find out and see. Who is Tom? I wonder if it's like MySpace. There's a guy in the background. That's yeah. Like, <laughs> Friend. Yeah. I'm your buddy. I don't think anyone remembers that. Um, my controller Last parts. week we um, showed, uh, it was like breaking news, uh, it was Staroids, I think that's what it's called, and it's um, all the different ways you can use one code.py file across all these different boards, different screens, which is unheard of in um, devices and electronics. And so uh, we got that going on with over four different processors. So you can run same everything, uh, you don't have to do anything different drop the code on, and it just runns across uh, NRF52840, RP2040, CMD51, um, ESP32S2, and I think there's another one. STMs. Run. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever chips, TNC4, anything that's supported by CircuitPython, it's consistent. It's the same. All right. Um, I'm going to show a video in a second. And then um, we've been talking about air quality here at Adafruit a bunch because we have all these CO2 monitors, and we've been keeping... Uh, from the very beginning of last year, because we were an essential business, we were still uh, back before vaccines and everything, we were working, we had masks on, but we wanted to make sure we had the best uh, air quality and circulation and fresh air coming in. Um, and so it's always good to see these projects because I think a lot of people are starting to do it. It is a, is a way to see how good the air it's is. It's a great project for kids in school. It's like, it's yeah. you, you know, it's very easy. We have a lot of really easy air quality monitor projects and they're not expensive and you can learn about yeah. science. And like CO2, it's used for air quality, but it's also used for environmental science and for greenhouse and um, agricultural yeah. with, science. With there being smoke and you name it, that's going in the air and then w that's the outside. And then when you're inside, you want to make sure the CO2 levels are low because it means there's less people and not having a bunch of people indoors right now is a good idea. Yeah. Um, so anyways, uh, check that one out. And all the rest of the stuff in hardware, the newsletter. Hardware, keyboards, But this Python. week, I pick one thing each week, and yes. this week I picked this. This is, um, and I'm going to do the narration over this. This is a uh, person who does MMOs. And Final Fantasy MMOs. They said, hey, I knew this would be perfect for my MMO hotkeys. So this person, uh, they use a controller, so it's nice. And they showed all the shortcuts. So as they um, click the buttons, you can see. Oh, for emotes. What a great idea. Because yeah. there's usually like a pain to type in. And they noticed that it's easy to use with CircuitPython. And the person said, I still have some adjustments to make to colors and different shortcuts available, but I like it so far. So they were able to put this together really fast, and um, you can see how, uh, with the knob, you can select different things for each yeah, emote. Layers. And they said this is pretty easy for, uh, easy setup, easy for me. Uh, these keycaps are from an old keyboard. They're gonna get nicer ones, and so this project will continue on. I'm on so happy. I really, you know, the macro pad, it kind of, it's one of those things where I was a little worried because it kind of does one thing. But turns out that one thing is something that people really want. So I think it's cool that, um, you know, yeah. I, I don't play Final Fantasy Online. It looks super fun. I, I definitely don't have time for that. Um, and uh, it looks like they use it for Adobe yeah. and OBS and streaming. And, and what a handy all-in-one tool. And I love that they decorated it with these cool keycaps as well. And, you know, and learning about more code is fun. And that's how they close the video. I, I think that this is one of those times, once again, where... I'm just going to say it. there's gatekeepers in the world of electronics and they are terrified to see things like this because it's so easy and there's people that have never done coding that oh, they're I'm sure able people are like, oh, that's not really coding. You just edited a JSON file. Yeah. How is that coding? It's yeah. like, that's coding. And, and, so, <laughs> and so this is the start. And look at the tool that someone gets on like the most valuable real estate, their desk, and the thing that they care about and the thing that they do every day. Yeah. So I think that's one of the things. Like we, we, we definitely get... Um, 
uh, snarked on because we're, we're making things too easy, but we're not making things too easy. We're just making things more accessible to people. Easy is subjective. So anyways. So easy. All right, and that's Python on Hermit this week. Even a steak could do it. Okay, cool. <laughs>